here's what a typical day looks like. We got Mexican radio. <laughs> Dad's doing a little detail work down there on that sill plate, getting it um, cut and glued in. We got Luis and Sergio. Nobody knows I'm taping, so this will be a surprise. Are working on the deck. Ah, smile! <laughs> Just starting to get that framed out. You get an idea of the size of the deck now. So, there's the windows in this room. <sighs> bedroom window, bedroom window. See that? Needed a little love down there. And um, so here's the kitchen window over the sink. That's the door to the deck. And then that's more like, you know, the living room window, and so is that one. So that's all the wood for the deck. That's really heavy duty stuff. Micro lamb. And I've got this gray doll propped up because it's holding this wall level right now. Plum, really. Everything's straight. See it's just pushing on that wall. So there's a, you can see what it's like during the day. All right, well, here's the update. It's uh, Wednesday, about one maybe, 12 or one. And um, got Edwin up on the top doing the rafters uh, and he knows we're watching um, and uh, Sergio and Luis are working on the deck and so basically these um, are the engineered TJI rafters which is good because they can span a long distance so those are I think 23 feet um, and they don't have the inconsistencies of regular sawn lumber and so um, working on those where they go up to the middle here you can see there's a there's a, a board right there it's actually this stuff here it's um, micro lamb an LVL ridge lamb beam um, 14 inches by one and three quarters and so that's going all the way down the center I guess we could probably see it better over here way 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 up on top so right there you can see it all the way down so that is standing straight up where the rafters come to contact it we're um, doing a miter cut so that they butt right straight up to that um, you can see pretty well right there so they're um, butting right up to that they're being nailed yeah nailed down into that upper top plate and then there's going to be a strap from one to the other like that and then on this end there's a little nailer right here so let's see if i get my finger in the right spot there's that nailer that's at a an angle so we just custom cut that strip all the way down the 50 feet uh down the end and that's gonna be the exact angle to pick up the you know to, so that the uh, TJI rafter will sit right on it. So this was like some practice ones. You know, so basically, we found that angle right there was it. The way we figured it out was we came over here and we drew up like a template. Um, so from here, you can follow the chalk line down. It's 40 feet. We knew we had an uh, increase in elevation of, I think... 8 foot 8 inches so this is the 20 foot center mark 
This goes up eight feet, eight inches right here. Then we determined where the top plates would be, where that ridge pole LVL beam would be. And then we simply brought some um, TGI rafters in here and laid them out and just measured the angle off of that. And then did a couple samples and they were right on. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling those uncut rafters over here. It's my little cutting station and I've got the right angle and I'm just cutting this much off of each one. I see quite a few. There's 50. Edwin's helping. Maybe I'm helping him. <laughs> and so we're, uh, yeah, I'm definitely helping him. So we're just um, cutting them so they'll all lay right in there like that. And they're 24 on center, 50 feet. So there's, you know, roughly about, there's going to be 49 or 51 of them. And then uh, he's going to move something. I guess I'll get off this phone and help him out. But we're also having to do blocking on the sides. I'll show you that real quick and I get back to work. So the blocking in between, we're just um, custom making that so it's real tight. You can see these ones are blocked. These ones aren't blocked yet. So once we block them, then we'll nail them in place. So we're making that blocking. It's not just a straight cut. It's got to be almost like an eye shape or like a reverse eye shape to fit the beam because the beam is kind of an eye shape. So there's a little notch on the top, a little notch on the bottom, and then we're angling it to match that nailer plate and angling it to match the plywood. So it'll be tight, you know, no rodents kind of making through there and everything. And then the fascia will be put on this and that's what they'll stuck up to. You want help? Yeah, but well you gotta finish today. All of them. Uh-huh. Now that's on, that's on, that's my deal with him. That's on camera. No way he's going to finish all these before he's supposed to go home anyway. <laughs> and so, yeah, so that's the, the update. Once all those are up, we'll put on this, um, this is the special roof sheeting. It's got the, um, reflective vapor, uh, um, the, uh, what do they call that? It's not a vapor barrier. It's a, um, gosh, I can't think of what the heck it is. A radiant barrier, radiant heat barrier. And so um, this is the reflective material. Standing next to these is really hot. It just pushes the heat right back out, all the radiant uh, UV rays. And so on the back side, check out the deck boys, and then I'll get back to work over here cutting all those uh, trusses. Oh, it's looking good, huh? What are you looking for? I'm just checking on you. I got to send hey, updates, hey, you know? Hey, hey, hey. Look at it. Not yet. Not yet? Well, I'm doing it right now. It's live. <laughs> um, so, we got these. Uh, I'm going around the corner where you've been getting more work done, okay? All right. You <laughs> jumping around over here? Jumping around. <laughs> And so here are these beams and the beams all have their hangers up and we've got all the uh, deck joists up so you can see them. So the next step on this one's going to be plywood. Each one of these hangers is just a little pricey, both sides, and then it's blocked in between. And then the uh, plywood's over there. This is going to be a actual plywood, not an OSB. And so this will wear the, this will be where the decks of text goes. Oh, and I see he got the straps up. I just went and got those straps last night. So that's holding these beams together. They're 10 foot sections of beam. Those are, um, those are, uh, paralam beams. So it's going good. A lot of stuff. These columns will all be stuccoed, plywood and then stuccoed. And so, um, looking good. I guess I'm going to get back to the party here.